Mike Gibson, thank you for joining us on Robins TV. You've had a look around the Robins High Performance Centre. What do you think? Well, it, it, it's a pleasure to be here, but uh, I'm in awe of the place. It's unbelievable. I'd heard a lot about it, but um, no, it's uh, it's far better than I ever dreamt it would be. It's a fantastic place. You've seen around, and um, the goalkeepers, your position, they've got their own space to train. Yeah. What was it like in your day? Oh well, you, you yeah, you, you, you still uh, went away and trained uh, away from the others, uh, but uh, you had no special facilities really. It's just um, find a patch of grass and or mud and uh, work on there. But um, yeah, as I say, but you see what they've got here. But um, it's still uh, up to the player to make it in the end. It is indeed. Yeah. Take us back, Mike. You're born in Derby. You moved here from Shrewsbury Town, is that correct? That's correct. So what was it like coming to Bristol City in 1963? Um, well, compared with I was at uh, Shrewsbury and uh, the facilities there, as I say, weren't as good as Bristol. In fact, um, I arrived at Bristol City and the, the standard of the pitch at the time, it was always renowned as a, a reasonable pitch. Uh, you didn't get so much mud on it, and uh, you d which you did with a lot of grounds. And... Uh, and I was impressed that, uh, well, Fred Ford as well, uh, he was the manager, and uh, I was impressed with the facilities here, but um, <laughs> I've been seeing this today, I'm wondering, you know, it's, uh, it's come so, such a long way. You made 375 appearances for Bristol City. Yeah. What ones stand out for you? I think it was the promotion year. Yeah, it's, um, as I say, I think we, um, we played at Mansfield over Easter, and got beat. And I think Peter Godsiff wrote in the Evening Post that um, that uh, we'd missed a chance of promotion. But then we went to Carlisle and drew nil nil, and then we won all the rest of the games. We played Shrewsbury over East of my old club, home and away, and we won we won both of them. And we had to beat Oldham in the last game, which we did. And those games and the game at Carlisle stood out to me because it was nil nil. And I had one of those games you dream about, really. And, uh, yeah, I am. Um, in fact, I think um, Graham Russell gave me ten, 10 in the people that day. So That's always good. <laughs> so it was a, a memorable game and we got promotion after. So And well, I think when you retired, you came back to Bristol City as a, a goalkeeping coach. Is that correct? That's right, yeah. Yeah, I came back. For, uh, Terry Cooper was the manager, yeah. I ran the reserves and coached the goalkeepers. And did did uh, quite a bit of scouting as well, and doing reports uh, reports on the uh, on the team we're going to play the following week. But when when I see the facilities here they've got for it, <laughs> it's unbelievable. You don't need to send anybody. I don't think. <laughs> Fantastic days. You're back here, and tomorrow there'll be I think 15 of you um, who played in the 1960s and 70s. What's it like to see the guys again? Oh, it's great. I mean. Uh, yeah, it is great that, uh, well, there's a few here today and uh, I hope there's a few more tomorrow. Unfortunately, one or two can't make it. But no, it's uh, it's great to see them. And uh, yeah, it's wonderful, really. And do you still follow Bristol City? Do you still keep an eye out for the results? Well, I, I, I don't, I've not missed a home game this year, I don't think. Probably one home game, so yeah, I still follow it. And... Well, Mike, it's lovely to talk to you and obviously you're, you're very fondly remembered by the Bristol City fans, so thank you for joining us. Well, thank you. Thank you very much.